Hello, everyone. This presentation is for Coastline System Consulting, prepared by T System IT Team. Coastline Systems Consulting has a deficiency in their current process of communicating, servicing, and tracking customer requests on a daily basis. As is, the clients call in to make a service request regarding issues they are facing with their software or hardware. A consultant on duty usually handles the call or the client can leave a message for someone to follow up. When an employee initially handles the call, there is no way of tracking the information. If a follow-up call is placed for missing information, that information is unable to be properly retrieved. The problem causes poor communication amongst customers, employees, IT personnel, and management. It has a negative impact on customer service and the company loses value. Customers will begin to seek solutions elsewhere. T-Systems IT team provide the details of a new system proposal. The presentation covers how we provide a technical solution and apply systems analysis and design to a business problem. It explains the requirements and benefits of a client technology tracking system as a solution to improve efficiency and customer service at Coastline System Consulting. System analysis and design is used to analyze, design, and implement improvements for the company through the use of a computerized information system. Analysis and design seeks to identify and understand what Coastline System Consulting needs to solve the right problems. Furthermore, it adds structure to the process by planning and working with users to minimize dissatisfaction with the new system. Methodology. The team designed preliminary representations of the flow of data through an information system to analyze the structured decisions made. Tools such as data flow diagrams illustrate systems in a structured grammatical form. We use a methodical approach to analyzing what the system needs to potentially improve what is occurring or experienced by the users within Coastline System Consulting. Next, we prepared a project charter or system proposal that summarizes the purpose of the project, the product, the business need, objectives and goals, budgets, constraints, target performance initiatives, and the key individuals supporting the project. The project charter is created during the initiating phase of the project. The Client Technology Tracking System Project Charter documents and tracks the necessary information required to plan and approve the project for funding. This project charter includes the needs, scope, justification, and resource commitment, as well as the project sponsors, decision to proceed or not to proceed with the project. Coastline System Consulting requires a consistent desktop infrastructure with warranty and a system that would allow for accurate tracking of assets and service calls. The project duration will be approximately one month with a budget of $39,000. The current tracking system has configuration information and hardware components that are not correct. Information when technicians are dispatched to a service call about location and the device that they are going to work on. Coastline System Consulting requires a better way to submit service calls. A new system will allow for a better customer experience and provide technicians with correct information on location, user, and device. The objectives are as follows. Install all new desktop systems with warranty. Implement a service ticket and asset management system. Populate service ticket and asset management system with accurate data. The first phase is to install leased PCs, verify configuration, and assign it to an employee. The phase will also consist of populating the database. This information will be accessible to all technicians when a service call is placed. The intranet will contain a link for users to place service requests. An email address and phone number will also be available for clients to place service calls. The T-System staff will provide training to Coastline staff on how to use the service request system. With this improved system, Coastline Systems Consulting will be able to cut costs, improve customer service-based interaction, and
track employee assets. The table lists the executive milestones of the project and their estimated completion time frame once authorized to proceed. The project duration of each stage of development is 20 days total for completion. Milestones include the team configuring lease PCs for install, building a database with user information, PC configuration, asset tag and serial number, add link and other features to client's web page for service requests, and test the web page to confirm clients can send and receive requests. Training will be provided on the system. Budget. This section provides a summary of estimated spending to meet the objectives of the project as described in this project charter. This summary of spending is preliminary and should reflect costs for the entire investment life cycle. It is intended to present probable funding requirements and to assist in obtaining budgeting support. The team will consist of a project sponsor. This person is responsible for acting as the project's champion and providing direction and support to the team. A project officer. And this person is responsible for coordinating with acquisition officials on projects for which contract support is contemplated. A project manager. This person performs the day-to-day -day management of the project and has specific accountability for managing the project within the approved constraints of scope, quality, time, and cost to deliver the specified requirements, deliverables, and customer satisfaction. We will also have a business steward. This person is often like a branch chief or division director who is responsible for the project in its entirety. A technical steward who is responsible for the technical day-to-day -day aspects of the system. A security steward responsible for the lead role for maintaining the project's information security. Some considerations important for the project charter are assumptions, this section identifies the statements believed to be true and from which a conclusion was drawn to define this project charter. Examples of assumptions, timely installation of these PCs, web application available on day one, constraints. This section identifies any limitations that may be taken into consideration prior to the initiation of the project. Risk identifies how to properly mitigate. In the design phase, we used information collected earlier to accomplish the design of the client tracking system. We used data model diagrams to organize and document the system's data. We created process model diagrams to organize and document the system's functionality. We created UML object-oriented diagrams to combine data and processes into single entities. System alternatives would be commercial off-the-shelf products, outsource or cloud service. Additional criteria to consider would be implementation plan, product names and vendors. These alternatives would eliminate the problems of incompatible equipment. The IT staff would support the services in the database. For the purpose of our project, and based on our research, an alternative solution would be to use a cloud service provider. A cloud service can dynamically scale to meet the needs of its users, and because the service provider supplies the hardware and software necessary for the service, there's no need for a company to provision or deploy its own resources or allocate IT staff to manage the service. Technology, Coastline Systems Consulting will be able to increase their output volume while using fewer people, maintain the ease of access to information while avoiding major security concerns. They can provide services anytime, anywhere, and stay within budget. As seen in our alternative assessment, we will be able to cut costs by $20,000 as compared to the other two candidates. Companies not only want to provide the best services to their customers, but being able to do such while cutting costs is considered a success. Thank you for listening to this presentation by T-Systems IT Team.